Hi there! In today's video, we'll learn how to insert borders and shading to our text. So let's get started. So let's begin with uh, our first paragraph. Let's give it a heading first of all. Uh, let's name it first paragraph or paragraph one maybe. I think I'll add a word demo before paragraph one. I think that's going to make me happier. And for this tutorial, even paragraph two is begging for a heading, so let's give it one. With your text tool selected, click on the first heading and it will reveal the appropriate tool above. And since my text tool is already selected, the tool that you see above below the letter A is the paragraph formatting tool. And you'll find the option shading and borders. So when you click on border, for example, a border will appear around the paragraph your cursor is at. But since we need to explore other settings in border and shading, let's go to the burger menu on the right and select paragraph borders and shading. From here, ensure that the preview button is checked and then check the border option on top. And the first option you see on the right is uh, the stroke weight of the border you choose. So increase the weight and you'll find it reflecting on the text, much like that. And uh, so let's get back to, uh, so, so you see, if you reduce it to zero, the, the border is gone. And uh, you can even change the style of the stroke to the various options from the drop down list. You have a wide variety of stroke designs to choose from, but let's stick to the regular lined stroke. Uh, corner size and, and shape option is the next one in the list and from here you can select a corner design from the list although it's not really a big list you can even unlink it by clicking on the icon in the center and change the corner style of any one corner so that's a possibility as well so let's try and do it for uh, for the corner on the right like this and you'll find the corner design reflecting only on the right as we chose. Now we can move to offset setting, something that can be easily set much like we updated the setting of the rest. We can increase or decrease the offset using the arrow there and all our adjustments will be reflecting on the text in real time. Let's head to the shading tab which is sitting right next to the border and ensure that you check the shading option on the left. And from the drop down, we can adjust the color of the shading. We can even adjust the opacity using the tint option and increase or decrease it as per our requirement. The corner size and shape option here is much like we did a few seconds ago. The only difference here is that this time is the fill that forms the shape of the corner and earlier it was the stroke. So let's increase the size and see how it looks compared to the straw corners we did a while ago. I think for me personally, I'd prefer it with the stroke and not this one. You might think differently, which is absolutely fine. Or maybe we can do it only for one corner on the right and see how it looks. Well, it looks slightly better on one than in all corners but for me the stroke corner is still the winner yeah we can even do an offset adjustments to create some space all around to make it look better now let's select the paragraph and add some shading to it using the shading option on the toolbar above from paragraph 1 heading, if you keep on hitting return, you'll find the space filling with the color of the heading. To prevent this, we need to adjust the space before option. In fact, we can use space after as well, provided we select the heading. So, using the text tool, let's select the first paragraph and go to space before option. And make the adjustment like that and you will find that there is a space between the paragraph and the heading and it is not filled with any color and since we'd like some space between the first paragraph and the heading of paragraph 2 let's also adjust space after from the toolbar above and you will find there is a good amount of space between uh, 
the first paragraph and, and the heading. Now we can put some shading to the second heading as well using the shading option and let's make it uh, pink. I think I'd like to change the opacity of this pink and also just the offset. So let's go to the burger menu on the right and then paragraph borders and shading. Let's hit the shading tab and adjust the offset from here so as to give some space for the heading to breathe. I think uh, that should be good enough. And I'd also like to change the opacity. So let's make it 50. That should be good enough. So that's how you insert borders and shading to your paragraphs and in InDesign. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'm going to see you in the next one pretty soon. Signing off. Thank you.